Hey, it's Ocean Sims, and welcome back to the Vandari Bunch. I know it's been a little while, but I wanted to jump into some super fun, like already lived in a gameplay. And I remember where we last left off here with the fam. Uh, Barsha is heavily pregnant right now. She is feeling a little bit better than usual, minus this back pain. The weight of the baby is pulling on Barsha's back we are here at this little cute little play pretend doctor's office i built yes i built this would you believe it i built this i made it so that it was a residential lot so this is all pretend this doesn't work as a doctor's office but i wanted um i was gonna say brindleton bay Ooh, wrong world henford on bagley deserved a small office type of a doctor thing and so i i really wanted them to have that this is where you go to get your checkup you know if you have a bigger emergency you would obviously go to an out-of-town hospital unfortunately that's the that's the cons of living in the country but i'm really really proud of uh, this lot and here's like one of the rooms and yeah energize this is relaxing the sim enjoys being alone or in a peaceful environment i do have some mods installed so i hope nothing conflicts because we did get a pack refresh for spa day so i'm really hoping that nothing conflicts he is doing push-ups at the doctor's office and she's talking to the doctor i made this is dr lyle clifford dr clifford and he is telling her Varsha, you um you'll be due any day now i know let's let's pretend that we've already talked to him like you know i love this let me get a picture he's like look you are due any day now she's gonna go ahead and sit right here he's gonna say how have you been feeling now there is something that i have to tell you guys that i know that you don't know but there is a reason why this pregnancy has been even harder even harder on varsha and i'm gonna tell you all about it um but not right now not right now. We have to let her get finish getting her little checkup. Check this out, you guys. I just asked him if he was a mystery gifter because the mayor wanted to know who was giving gifts randomly, like in this world. I just asked him, and it was the doctor. I love how they implemented my Sam as the gifter. He says, Oh, you got me. I am the mystery gifter. I have been all this time. I knew it. Let's see. I love you, Dr. Clifford. He is on the gallery. Make sure you check include custom content because he has the default skin. And this uh, lot is on the gal gallery as well. Yay. He's like, look, you are going. You're going to pop any day now. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, he's such a great doctor. I love you, Dr. Clifford. Thank you so much. He's like, this is probably your last appointment. So just take it easy today. Um, we have to take it easy today, but we do have a party. We have a gender reveal party that we are going to be doing today. And I'm super excited, but also quite nervous for it we have to get home and get ready for our gender reveal we're gonna have a little tiny gender reveal party it's gonna be super super fun and i'm super excited for it because i've done this probably like one other time in my gameplay for discovery university the discovery university lp and so it's exciting to do this again because i'm going to be doing this with a new mod that i downloaded i'm going to actually be buying a gender reveal cake so yeah let's go ahead and head home Let's sell some things at the grocery stall before we head home. Let's go ahead and give the blue eggs because we don't need those at all. I turned off the simple living lot trade or lot challenge. I mean, because it was just so pointless. Um, it's just way too much when you have a big family, but it's awesome if you want to challenge, but I don't want that type of challenge. Thank you so much. I will see you later, Kim, for the gender reveal. She's like, all right, catch you later. <laughs> Ooh, let's pay our bills. Just a quick update. Okay, we've seen enough cottage living games play everything's going great um i do have some giant or oversized crops growing here um and yeah like everything's going cool we have some rabbits occasionally poking out i have been so consumed with the actual family that the animals kind of don't get as much as my attention <laughs> i just send them to socialize with them the best way i can but it is hard having a big family a big farm and a pregnant sim okay i don't suggest this type of struggle but i love our animals it is so cool um that we have them you know so i love love them so much i'm just gonna go ahead and get some socializing in because one of my goals was to always be close with the animals and i feel like i haven't done that enough because the bandaris is just so chaotic anyway that yeah it just it just didn't turn out that way i'm going to give sadie a party treat because she'll be more sociable let's get our party started so i do have the more event mod installed so i think what i'm going to do is do like a pregnancy announcement because it is kind of like a gender reveal thing i went ahead and chose 
shows everyone I wanted to invite and I had to invite the Crumple Bottoms because they're just so concerned on what on what like kind of baby we're having but I couldn't invite everyone like I really wanted to invite the Watsons but I can't do that so I'm just going to invite who I can invite and we will have this probably at like four that'll give us enough time to kind of like make everything look good nah let's do three let's do three let's do three now I need to hurry up and cook lemon bars lemon bars are that that's like cute lemon bars that's cute this is like a gender reveal so we don't even need like real food you know we could have salad or something do you want to play again soon okay yes i do and i need to change this he has bella got that on the screensaver of his phone oh my goodness our child our child <laughs> this is the plum fruit mod that i have installed i really like it i made a video on it if you're interested i need to invite Raul over because i need to give him a choco berry i had to finish out uh roshni's errand i literally have been prolonging it so so bad um and then i need to finish this cross stitch it's taking forever <laughs> i love the errands but not with the bedars because i'm just their actual family itself is just so exciting that it's just hard to focus on you know Ooh, a pregnancy announcement starts soon and our kids have to go <laughs> oh my goodness i cannot believe winterfest is tomorrow and i do not have a tree we need to fix this i'm going to have to do a little bit of rearranging i would totally have them uh make a tree together but the bandaris um or decorate a tree together but the bandaris are feeling a bit bougie this year okay let's just pretend that it was already kind of decorated for them or or whatever the case may be maybe mom just did it by herself you know but um i think i am loving this all white with the gold that looks so cute you guys know you guys you know how i feel about decorations and all of the above like it's it's a must have for this family all right just a bunch of presents here okay you get the gist um and i'm gonna add more in the front and stuff when they ouch <laughs> I'm gonna add some more maybe like one present isn't wrapped or something like that someone just stuck that under the tree i don't know what i'm doing here i really wish i could have went all out this actually doesn't look that great now that i'm like <laughs> now that i'm like looking at it again i'm like oh i don't know how i feel about this oh i hate when i have to rush the decorations i'm so sad about this it's coming together they have some uh old decorations in storage that i can <laughs> in place and i actually think i want the yule log there we go now it's starting to look like winter fest oh my goodness look at what yash is dressed into he's getting some orange juice he's like you ready for today babe oh he looks so cute in this orange sweater he looks so cute oh i love him to death um but let's go ahead and she's having salad right now <laughs> i love her i'm just gonna put the food on the table pregnancy announcement is about to begin let's start i'm excited and amir is currently volunteering his supervisor um yeah yeah i'm just gonna have them all come home <laughs> oh well who cares i just have them all come home it's gonna be okay but let's go ahead and order a delivery. Now, this is a new mod. I haven't gone over it, but Granny's Bakery Delivery. I already use Granny's Cookbook. It's a super, really cool, fun mod to use if you love cooking in The Sims. So with this, I can order um, a birthday cake, a Yule Log, and I can order some baby gender reveal cakes. So I'm going to order, and I'm not going to let you see what I'm ordering. So close your eyes. Thank you for purchasing from Garani's Bakery. Your delivery should arrive shortly. Wake up, Roshni. I need you to come in here and give this choco berry, please, uh, if you will. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and give him the choco berry, and then we are going to change her outfit. Uh, something cute. Uh, I really like this outfit, so I'm going to have her wear that. You see how snazzy the boys look? Like, they look so cute. <laughs> in their little sweater they are so adorable there's soya yay she is here okay great yash is probably uh showing capel around the house and everything they're like here just having some nice brother-in-law time you know you want to feel <laughs> look daya's like not without me i want to see oh this is so cute oh my gosh why is the mayor here without any clothes i need to fix that immediately i don't know why the mayor was naked but i'm glad i was able to fix that because that is deserving and now i can also reveal the mystery gifter to her since i know that piece of information so that's pretty good um so i'm gonna go ahead and just take care of all that while i'm here oh look here goes our cake our cake is right here i'm gonna have yash go ahead and take 
that cake. Thank you for purchasing from Granny's Bakery. Our little establishment hopes you enjoy the sweet treats. Yay, I'm excited. I'm gonna put this in Yasha's inventory for now because I don't want anyone touching it and I know he probably will not eat this cake. If he does, I will scream. Let's go ahead and have her in something kind of more casual now that everyone's here. She can just kind of like switch her outfit into something like this. I'm gonna have Roshni come down here and shout forbidden words. She's gonna be like, holy, She's gonna be like, Lillian, don't do that. You're getting paint everywhere. Ah, uh, Lillian is such a Tasmanian devil. I'm just kidding, but it's kind of funny to think about, right? Oh, look at the Crumple Bottoms eating. The Crumple Bottoms are getting along so well with Aya. Uh, she's fancy, they're fancy. She's old fashioned a little bit. They're quite old fashioned themselves. So everyone's kind of having fun, listening to music. I don't know how Zoya feels about Varsha being pregnant. She's probably worried about her mom and just, Ooh, looks like she's talking about heartbreak. Did something go on that we don't know about? This is why we have to get over all of this. We have to have the baby so that we can see what Zoya is up to in the next episode, you know? I love how Varsha is dancing. She might dance this baby out though. So she needs to be careful. She needs to be really careful, but I love that she's having fun. So we are going to go ahead and have our gender reveal. I just need to move a couple of things things let's go ahead and place down the cakes yes i said cakes yes we ordered two and i know you guys are probably like what yes we are having twins we are having twins can you believe it i am so nervous for this i really am but i just i can't wait so let's go ahead and open the box we are feeling so happy <laughs> this is so good this is honestly so, 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 so good. Uh, so now it's in our inventory. So let's go ahead and place our cake here and here. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. Are you ready for the big reveal? Please tell me if you are ready. What we are going to do is have Varsha cut the first one. Yes, Varsha is having twins. All we have to do is take a piece. So let's see what the color, the inside of this cake is. And then we'll have Yash do this one. So the inside of the cake, as you can see, one of the twins is going to be a girl. <laughs> We're going to have a girl. We're gonna have a girl. We're gonna have a girl. And now we have to see what the other baby will be. What do you guys think? Close your eyes right now. Tell me what you think. Drop it in the comments right now. Let's let's just have fun. I would have called all the Sims over here, but it's not a true gender reveal. So, you know, but let's go ahead and, and have Yash take a piece. So you guys find out what are we going to be having? What are we going to be having? Turn around. <gasps> Two girls. Two girls. I cannot make this up. I can't make it up. I can't make it up, you guys. Okay, this, this is... This is crazy. We just finished having twin boys. We have two girls, one in college, one in high school, two boys in elementary school, and now we will have two baby girls. We are gonna be a family of eight, not seven. So the title of the last video is wrong. Varsha's looking at Yash, Yash is looking at her, and she's like, I cannot believe, I cannot believe we are having two, not one, but two babies and not one girl two girls we are outnumbered with girls let's have everyone get a piece of cake and she's like girls huh like oh this is crazy so this will be the end of our family like after this varsha is done they are done they are finito whatever they're just finished no 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 more babies zoe is happy they're like yay two girls you know like it's exciting like we have so many girls in our family they are completely outnumbered we only have three boys in the family right now um everyone's excited and and it's great so i really don't know what to do here because um expanding the house not that it's it's a lot of trouble it's just that um i'm unsure if i want to keep them them keep them like keep them if i can get my words together in this house or just download a new house off the gallery that's big enough for everyone to have like their own room space but roshni is getting older um the boys can also age up which means they could be teenagers and roshni could actually head off to college or whatever she wants to do i'm not too sure what i want to do with them just yet we can keep the babies in this room for right now or we can put the boys in this room and then we can also you know have all the girls in this room because i just don't feel like messing with the layout of the house because i'm not that great of a builder unless you have some suggestions drop those down in the comments right now i'm sorry if uh oh woody's a rooster now we have to see woody wait a minute 
that's like a Sean's that's a Sean's uh, favorite like it's bad to have a favorite I know but he loves Woody so let's have him call Woody out I swear we always have functions at the Bundaris tomorrow is winter fest and I can't wait to celebrate being that I'm just like getting back into recording and stuff and I just kind of wanted to check in with you guys so that you knew what Varsha was having next episode we will already have the babies here and we've we've celebrated plenty of harvest fest they're just gonna open presents and you know in fact I may even have um, I'll let everybody open one present um, have you guys like have your parents ever did that for the holidays like you get to open one present uh, with your family like I don't know if you guys have done that yet or not um, but I'm gonna let them I'm gonna let the Bandari kids like open one present um, I'm hideous my face is a mess I can't go anywhere looking like this what can I do oh my gosh um, it's fine don't overreact I hate that they're like try some light makeup like that is so <laughs> what like why would you tell your kid but i don't know anyway it's to each its own but yes i really need her to resume this uh cross stitch so she could finish this i think next episode we are going to obviously have our babies but then we're going to take a trip out bramblewood because that is a place where we haven't really touched bases with this whole series and it is a cottage living series kind of sort of nah just kidding it's really the bondaris all day every day but so they're opening their presents and I love this. They get to open one. At least you guys can see them open opening presents and stuff because next episode we're getting back to gameplay. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Just keep simming. Always, always, always stay wavy. And I will see you in the next one. Alrighty. Peace out.